Atu V, the Hierophant. The letter Daleth appears here in the original order of the Hebrew alphabet, correlated in the hieroglyphic syllabary with the Egyptian hieroglyphic correspondent to the symbolic meaning of the Hebrew letter. Daleth, symbolizing a door, is here approximated by the Egyptian hieroglyph for a door latch or lock. Daleth is the letter in the original syllabary, and Vav is the letter equivalent in the modern Hebrew alphabet. And while Daleth means door, Vav means nail. Again, the reordering of the alphabet can change only part of the overall imagery of the Torah trump, yet cannot change the essence of the original letter and hieroglyph, which remain in some form implied within the symbolism anyway. In this case, although the correspondent Hebrew letter is believed to be Vav, meaning nail, the symbolism of the Hierophant card are the crossed keys of the Catholic papacy. We see the Hierophant seated between two large columns on a step up from two supplicant friars. Crowley's depiction of the Hierophant focuses heavily on the correspondence of the card's attributes to those of the zodiac sign Taurus. We see featured his depictions of Hathor and of the Babe of the Abyss. The Hierophant is depicted seated inside a stelloctahedron, surrounded by a bull and two elephants. The symbols in the corners of the image show the four elements. Behind the Hierophant's yellow hat sect crown is a rose again signifying a greater concealed mystery. Atu 6, The Lovers Zayin, the Hebrew letter Z, appears next in both the original hieroglyphic syllabary and the later rearranged alphabetic anthropomorphications of the letter versions of the 22 Torah trumps. The image of Zayin is meant to symbolize the Egyptian hieroglyphic depiction of a crook, and so we see the Anubis-headed staff or wand is a symbol of both death and directed power. However, because the zodiac symbol associated with the letter placement in the syllabary deck alphabet is the more commonly recognizable sign of the twins, Gemini, the symbolism of the coupled pair overwhelms the symbolism of the weapon in the later imagery. We see in the Golden Dawn version a young and perfect Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Eve stands before the Tree of Life, surrounded by the perching serpent, while Adam stands before the fiery Tree of Knowledge. Above them, the Angel of Revelations appears beneath a bright solar disk. Likewise, the Lover's Card in Aleister Crowley's Thoth Tarot deck features the aspects attributed to the zodiac sign Gemini, the Twins, prominently. However, in Crowley's version, there is also a strange homage to Zayin in the form of the Angel of Revelations, who appears above the wedded couple as a hooded, long, white-bearded old wizard. However, mostly the imagery of both modern tarot cards excludes all symbolism of the original hieroglyph the corresponding Hebrew letter was based on, preferring instead to rely heavily on the symbolism of the zodiac sign. Atu 7, The Chariot The Egyptian hieroglyphic depiction that most resembles the Hebrew letter Cheth does not have the same meaning as the meaning usually attributed to Cheth as a symbol. The usual meaning of Cheth is a fence, and the Egyptian hieroglyph most closely resembling the shape of the Hebrew letter is the symbol of a weapon, in specific a slingshot. However, that makes little difference in the subsequent symbolism of the tarot deck imagery, which focuses mainly on the chariot as a word representing the letter Cheth and then the imagery revolves around the chariot symbol itself. Not even the crab symbol of the zodiac sign cancer shows. 
Instead, in the Golden Dawn decks version of the Chariot Tarot trump card, originally derived from the Hebrew letter Cheth and the hieroglyph of a slingshot, the Metatron is depicted in his throne chariot, the Hekelah Merkaba, symbolizing the sun by its yellow wheels and winged disc symbol, and symbolizing day and night by the twin sphinx who tow the Metatron's chariot meant to resemble the shape of the letter Cheth and the hieroglyph symbol of the slingshot. The chariot itself is hooded by an overhung veil, painted to resemble the stars of heaven. Aleister Crowley's depiction of the chariot of Cheth and the zodiac sign of the crab is essentially identical to the layout of the Golden Dawn version, with few differences in detail. The voice of God is wearing golden armor and towed by four mythical animals signifying the four elements. The charioteer holds a spinning orb. Atu 8. Justice The symbol of the cattle goad was the Hebrew letter Lamed, symbolized thus hieroglyphically by the oxen's yoke. However, the symbol of Libra, the zodiac sign with which the letter Lamed is associated in Hakabalistic tradition, is the scales of weights and measures. Thus, once again we see, though the symbols appear somewhat similar in shape and design, the ox yoke and the scales are unique symbols from one another, and it is the symbol of the scales of the sign of Libra that the subsequent artists of the Tarot's symbolic syllabary chose to focus on. So, the relevant tarot card is justice, symbolizing the scales of the zodiac sign Libra. Although this is card 11 in the trump deck of the Golden Dawn, Aleister Crowley, in his Book of Thoth, explaining his tarot deck's layout, elaborated on the reason for it being misplaced in the sequence of trumps in the Golden Dawn deck. In Aleister Crowley's deck, Adjustment, the equivalent of Justice in the Golden Dawn deck, substitutes for the eighth trump in the Golden Dawn sequence, and likewise the eighth trump in the Golden Dawn deck is substituted later for the eleventh card in the regular arrangement. In the original Golden Dawn layout, Libra and Leo were reversed. Atu 9, The Hermit the Hebrew letter Yod is meant to signify the closed hand, or fist. The nearest approximate Egyptian hieroglyph to this ideogram is that showing an open hand. The sign of the zodiac related to the hermit card is Virgo. However, neither the literal interpretation of Yod as a hand, nor the attributes of Virgo, the zodiac sign, are the focus of the imagery of the usual hermit card. In the Golden Dawn Dex version of the image, the hand of the hermit is significant in the composition, insofar as it is holding aloft a lamp containing a hexagram. However, the hermit also holds a walking staff and wears a hood and long white beard, which are attributes of the traits of Virgo, only if perverted to an extremity of old age in the form of the mad prophet who lives in a cave archetype. Once again, Crowley's card shows little significant modification from the Golden Dawn motif in the case of the Hermit. While the old man was garbed in gray in the Golden Dawn Dex image, he is garbed in red in Crowley's version. He holds the hexagram lamp low in Crowley's version to lead the three-headed dog Cerberus of Greek myth who guards the entrance to hell. Atu 10 Wheel of Fortune. The Hebrew letter He resembles the letter Cheth, and so the original meaning of He was also a fence. Thus, the Egyptian hieroglyphic assigned to, to He is the one most closely resembling a fence. He was associated with Jupiter, and Jupiter in turn with the fortune card. However, the modern letter of the Hebrew alphabet assigned to the fortune card and the planetary influence of Jupiter, 
in modern times is calf, K. The meaning of calf is an open hand. However, look to the art of the modern tarot trump card of fortune and find the ideogram of an open hand. Instead, the image will symbolize the originally Egyptian hieroglyph of a fence and thus of the letter He. The Golden Dawn trump card of fortune depicts the originally Buddhist concept of the wheel of karma and reincarnation in a manner acceptable symbolically to the Western mind of the 20th century. The four elemental anamorphs study from open books in each corner, surrounding the three sattvas, Vedic elements, rooster, snake, and pig, depicted as the three alchemical states, salt, sulfur, and mercury, of the adversary archetype, the descending snake, the ascending Satan, and the siegeant royal Lucifer. The English letters inside the wheel spell tarot, clockwise, and Torah, counterclockwise. The Hebrew letters are the tetragrammaton, four-letter name of God. Interspersed, that is, all read as one, the English and Hebrew letters spell the name Thaure. Inside these letters are four symbols on an X-form cross. The symbols signify lowermost water, uppermost mercury, left salt, and right sulfur. Crowley's Thoth Tarot version of the trump card of fortune depicts a ten-spoked wheel surrounded by three attributes of Thoth, the sphinx atop the wheel, the crocodile descending clockwise, opposite from in the Golden Dawn deck, and the baboon ascending. Atu 11. Passion. The twelfth letter in the original hieroglyphic syllabary's order for the Hebrew alphabet was the letter Teth, and the letter Teth was symbolic of a twisting snake. There are two Egyptian hieroglyphic versions showing a twisting snake image. This one depicts the horned viper indigenous to ancient Egypt. The twisting snake glyph eventually morphed into the symbol of the zodiac sign Leo, the lion. Thus, the ideas of the snake and the lion have long been associated, especially in Egypt, where Ra Horus was symbolized by the lion and Set Typhon by the snake. In the Golden Dawn Tarot deck's eighth trump card depiction of strength, we see a maiden symbolizing the preceding zodiac sign of Virgo, petting a lion. In the Crowley and Thoth Tarot deck's eleventh trump card depiction of lust, we see the Whore of Babylon riding on the back of a many-headed lion.